Hello and welcome to Gladys Cake Kitchen. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make this insanely delicious brown sugar French butter cream. French butter cream is a custard-like butter cream made primarily using egg yolks. I have, however, adapted an original recipe, sometimes using whole eggs or a mix of both whole eggs and yolk. In this tutorial, I am making this butter cream by combining both whole eggs and egg yolks. I am also adding brown sugar to bring some caramel flavor to this butter cream, which is great for piping on cupcakes and perfect filling into cakes too so if you love custard or vanilla ice cream and a drizzle of caramel sauce this brown sugar french butter cream is exactly what you need because it's a combination of all these flavors into one so enjoy watching this video the ingredients needed for this recipe includes some brown sugar granulated sugar egg yolks whole eggs and icing sugar you will also need some butter for any buttercream the most important things to know about the butter to be used is the quality of the butter and the consistency of the butter when using it for buttercream and this of course is no different if the quality of the butter is less than required it will affect the mouth feel and texture of the buttercream the consistency if not right could also affect the overall mixture and presentation of the buttercream so in this tutorial, I'll be giving you some pointers to help you identify the best consistency required for perfectly finished butter cream. Butter when cold can be hard to touch. Left to come to room temperature can also vary due to location, weather condition and environmental factors. So to make sure the softened butter cream for this butter cream is soft, it has to be soft enough to hold its shape easily when pinched between the thumb and index finger. You can also roll it into a ball without having to firmly press the butter to create the shape. For this butter cream, I need the butter cream to have a light melt in the mouth mouth feel without having to beat the butter cream too much. So I have placed the butter into a microwave, allowing it to come to a spreadable consistency. I am demonstrating this by spreading some of this butter on a frozen slice of bread. With the cold temperature of the bread, the butter spreads easily without too much pressure on it. This is the consistency required without being too hard or too soft. Butter lecture over. There is pure vanilla extract to add as part of the ingredients, I am also adding a touch of coconut flavored rum for extra flavor. Over a bain marie, add the sugar, eggs and rum together and mix with a spatula stirring slowly to ensure all the ingredients are mixed in. Observe the mixture will turn into a syrup with a light frothy appearance once it begins to heat up. Keep stirring whilst regulating the heat underneath the boiler, being careful not to boil the mixture. Check for the right temperature and consistency by dipping a finger into the syrup. It should be hot to touch with no gritty feeling from the sugar on the fingertip. This shows the sugar is all dissolved. With a thermometer, check for a temperature of 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius to be sure the eggs are fully pasteurized. All ingredients and measurements including detailed notes on this recipe is left in the description box below so please do check that out. After checking for the temperature and observing the correct appearance, transfer the mixture into a stand mixer beginning to mix from medium speed increasing to high. In the stand mixer, leave the syrup to whisk for up to 50 minutes at 5 minutes intervals, checking for a change in appearance of the sugar and egg syrup. When tested with a whisk attachment, the foam-like mixture should assume a stretchy sugar ribbon consistency, falling straight into the mixing bowl with the shape disappearing very quickly. The mixture and mixing bowl at this point should be cool to touch. It will be good time to start adding the butter. So, Add the butter in slowly, allowing time intervals for each addition to be mixed in. The butter may begin to break during the mixing in process, causing the buttercream to look like curdled milk. Keep adding the butter and continue mixing until it all comes together. When it does, the buttercream will begin to look very creamy and smooth in texture. It will also be a great time to start adding the sugar. If you're still watching this video and have found some value to improve your beginner cake decorating skills, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified of any future videos like this and more. And please do like and share this video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section to indicate some form of interaction and engagement. Back to the brown sugar French butter cream. 
Begin to add the icing sugar a bit at a time, setting the mixer on low to avoid a splash of icing sugar. When the sugar is completely added, increase the speed of the mixer to high for about a minute before taking it off the mixer. Then add in the vanilla and stir in scraping the sides of the mixing bowl to ensure all the buttercream is mixed in. Dish the buttercream into another bowl ready to use or saving for later. This buttercream can be kept refrigerated or frozen and to be defrosted in time for use. This brown sugar French buttercream pairs well with chocolate cake and cupcakes, bringing a combination of tasty flavors in a mouthful. Buttercream done. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new today. Be sure to drop a comment if you ever get to use this recipe to let me know how you got on. And until my next video, thanks for watching.